The second part of overdenture lecture is attachments in overdenture. Attachments are small mechanical devices. They are incorporated to provide retention and support. One part is connected to a root tooth or implant, male part, and the other part to a prosthesis, which function of attachment, securing the prosthesis against forces that tend to lift it, providing periodontal support for the prosthesis, transferring the forces of the muscles of mastication from the prosthesis to the periodontium in as nearly axial direction as possible, distributing shearing forces and destabilizing and or splinting the abutment teeth. The retentive mechanism achieved by either active retention provided by springs that fit into recesses or friction between the components or by magnetic anchorage. The classification of attachments. The first classify group is rigid attachments. The advantages of rigid attachments First, reduction of the load on the edentulous ridge during function and parafunction. Second, minimum tipping of the abutment teeth when subjected to lateral forces. While the disadvantages of rigid attachments are applied forces and movements of the dentures are transmitted almost entirely to the abutment teeth. Second, rigid attachments should be used whenever possible because they place lower demands on the edentulous ridge during function and parafunction and require fewer repairs than do non-rigid attachments. The second type of attachment is non-rigid attachments. The advantage of this type is reduce effect of tipping force on the abutment teeth, while the disadvantage is greater stress on the tissues supporting the denture, which lead to ridge resorption. The indication of non-rigid attachments may be indicated under the following conditions when the geometric distribution of the remaining teeth is unfavorable for the stability of the denture this can give rise to undesirable tipping and rocking movement especially if the soft tissue support is more resilient and or less expand than normal and second only a short Dowels post can be used to anchor the cupping if a rigid attachments were used over a short dowel and controlled movement of the denture might loosen the dowel from the root. The factors affecting attachment selection first available inter arch space, second crown root ratio and alignment of the roots, third type of cupping, fourth vertical space available, fifth number of teeth present, amount of bone support, location of abutments, location of the strongest abutments, when, uh, whether the overdenture is a tooth supported or tooth tissue supported, the type of opposing dentition, whether it is a complete denture, overdenture, fixed appliance, or natural dentition, the maintenance problems, and the cost. The types of overdenture attachments can be 
बार टाइप स्टोट टाइप और the stood type attachments we have two type of stood attachments first intra radicular attachment like zest anchor attachment and the extra radicular attachments like sica divax attachments in general the stood attachments Mill stood solder to the base, which is a cupping covering the prepared tooth stump, and the female housing. This is embedded in the acrylic of the overdenture. The male and female attachments may be either resilient or non-resilient. There are many system of stud attachments. The first type. Of stud attachments is zest anchor or intra radicular attachment. Here the post preparation is made within the root and the female sleeve is cemented into place and the male portion consists of a nylon post and a ball head attachment to the overdenture as a chair side procedure. And this type is ideal for interim overdenture. The advantages of this anchor intraradicular attachment are first overcomes any space problem since the attachment is within the root structure, second leverage to the abutment tooth is reduced, third attachment procedure is simple. Fourth, parallelism is not necessary if more than one tooth is used due to the flexibility of the nylon. And five, no casting is required. The disadvantages of the zest anchor are carry susceptibility as no cupping placed and nylon stud can bend preventing seating. And to correct this frequent recall, need or visits are necessary and third food debris can get to the female housing the second type is sika attachment which is sample of extra radicular attachment here the male part fixed to the tooth and has a round face or shape wider at the top and split vertically into four sections they are flexible and can be compressed while the female housing fit over the the advantages of sika attachment extra radicular attachment overcomes any space problem Leverage to abutment tooth is reduced. The attachment procedure is simple and parallelism is not necessary if one tooth is used due to flexibility of while the disadvantages of Sika attachments are carry susceptibility as no cupping placed and nylon stud can bend preventing seating to correct this frequent recall visit. The second type of attachment after stood attachment is the bar attachment. The purposes of the bar attachment are splinting of abutment teeth and retention and support of the processes. There are two types of bar attachments. First is bar units, which are the rigid type no movements between bar and overlying sleeve transmits occlusal stress totally to abutment and bar joints which allow some movement of the rotational type utilizes the residual ridge for support there are many systems of bar attachments such as header bar it can serve as both 
bar joint and unit or as stood performed plastic bar which is attached to the cupping wax up cast performed plastic clip which are embedded in the denture base Ackerman clip and CM clip it consists of a round bar soldered to the post cupping the clip fits over the bar it has retention wings for engagement of the clip into the resin and the spacer is supplied so both rotational and vertical movements are allowed dollar bar include bar unit consists of a performed bar solder to cuppings on the abutment teeth the bar has parallel sides with rounded top to this fits a sleeve that is embedded in the acrylic over denture the other type of dollar bar is bar joint it is egg shaped and a spacer is placed between the bar and the sleeve this will allow the sleeve to have vertical and rotational movement around the egg-shaped bar bulky for over denture use the third type of over denture attachments is magnet attachments the magnet system of cobalt samarium magnet bolt into the denture base and a magnetizable dowel capping or keeper plate of palladium cobalt nickel allow into the abutment teeth the o-ring attachments they are donut shaped synthetic polymer objects that possess ability to bend with resistance and then return back to their original shape the o-ring attached to a post with a groove or an the advantages of o-ring attachment easy in changing the attachments wide range of movement and it is low cost and elimination of time and cost of a super structure of the oral hygiene instructions motivating and instructing the patient in the care of the overdenture is the almost importance for its long-term success learned during the preliminary treatment phase the oral hygiene procedures practiced by the patient following placement of the overdenture should be an interrupted continuation of the home care measures mechanical cleanings by using toothbrush in different size to clean the joint and attachments under the denture and around care of the abutments teeth by chemical aids first the fluoride in gel the fluoride can be used in an 0.025% solution can also be used as a daily rinse and can use the chlorhexidine 0.1 to 0.2% solution as a daily rinse gel to be applied inside the denture base or the female at care of the over denture by ordinary toothbrush or a special denture brush second toothpaste with low abrasiveness and non-alkaline soaps third denture cleanser mostly peroxide based are a useful adjunct candidiasis can be treated by immersing the denture in a 0.2 percent chlorhexidine solution for 10 to 15 minutes every day Prosodontic follow-up care to correct the occlusion by remounting records. Base can be relining and pressure spots 
bar which can be loose the screws and bar clips broken loose female retainers and the clip remounted with acrylic resin and we can see some sign of wear of the teeth from the use or wearing of the attachments so it can be replaced thank you